So what I have for you here is what we call a bimetallic strip. Uh, this strip on the top of my light here, um, if you look carefully at it, what you'll see is that on one side it's a coppery material, coppery color, on the other side it's a steel color. Uh, that's because the strip is made of two different materials that have different thermal expansion properties. So when you heat this material up, instead of doing the usual behavior where the thing just gets bigger, it'll do something a little bit different. Namely, the one that expands more takes the outside track and this causes the strip to bend. So let me show you now, I'll zoom in and see how you can make a circuit breaker out of this design. Okay, so what you can see here when you look a little bit closer is that on the top of my device, I have a bimetallic strip and the contact in the circuit is being made at this pin here. So when I turn my light on, Okay, now the light is on, and as that produces light, it is also producing heat. So what you'll see, there you go. When the bimetallic strip bends upwards a little bit, it breaks contact in the circuit, and when it bends back down as it cools, it makes contact again. So this light will cycle on and off. Basically, when the temperature reaches a certain level, the light goes off, and when the temperature gets down to that level again, the light goes back on. So this is very similar to how you could design a uh, thermostat for a house, for example. Um, have a bimetallic strip in there and have it uh, bend so that when it reaches that temperature that you set on your thermostat, uh, the bimetallic strip bends and it switches the thing off. And when the temperature gets too low, the bimetallic strip bends back and switches the thing back on.